All right, so we have Taylor, our Necron player, again. Uh, but this time, it rolls are reversed. It's his defense force versus my campaign army. So, Taylor, uh, let me know what you got here for your defense force. So I got one unit of uh, scarabs, of nine scarabs. So that's a whole unit right there. Um, and then I've got the canoptic spider that goes along with it. And then I have a Technomancer uh, crypt deck. And then ninth edition rules ninth edition came rules. out. Uh, and he's got two additional, or three additional abilities uh, now. Um, give me a second to grab it. Uh, his crypt deck arcana is called the Failsafe Overcharger. Technomancer models only, and he is a Technomancer. Uh, in your command phase, you can select one friendly crypt canoptic unit within nine inches of the bearer until the start of your next command phase. Add one to the attack characteristics of the models in that unit. Oh boy. So that's an additional nine attacks. For scarabs, right? For yeah. scarabs, yeah. Uh, if that unit is a monster or a vehicle, add D3 to that attack characteristics of the model in, uh, of that unit instead of one. So he's taking that one, um, and his additional ability now is called, uh, oh, I passed it. So uh, his additional ability is called uh, Canaptic Control Node. The bear has the ability, uh, while a friendly Canoptic unit is within six inches of the model, each time a model of that unit makes an attack, add one to the attack's hit roll. I'll have to reread that one. I wasn't listening, but... Yeah. Okay. What so, else we got? Um, and then we have the... Obviously, the... Uh, the um, Unit of Immortals. Unit of Immortals. The, their test of carbines. Okay. So, standard All right. stuff. All right. So, from my Crusade Force, the Hemak Banner, uh, I am bringing a unit of 10-man rubrics. I do have a Warp Flame... Uh, warp Flamer in there. I also have the Icon and a Soul Reaper Cannon. Um, and that unit's going to be taking, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but the one that makes it so there is a minus one to hit them, that spell. Uh, then I have a Glamour unit. Glamour Peach? Yes, Glamour Peach. And then I have a, a unit of five man Terminators. Uh, they have a Soul Reaper Cannon in there. They don't have the um, missile rack because I couldn't afford it. Um, and then they are taking the spell that gives them uh, a plus one to their invone, which I believe is Weaver of Fates. I believe. I don't have my list in front of me. All right, and then we have my commander here. We have Nebet, uh, my, my warlord. Nebet is um, rocking two spells that I'll talk about later because I don't remember. <laughs> um, and he's got uh, the Warlord trait that gives him a minus one wound every time he takes a wound to a minimum of one. And he's got the Dark Matter Crystal. So, I was wholly unprepared to give this speech, but here we go. Necron turn one, command phase. What do we got? So first off, I've got my new command protocols. Okay. Uh, the first one I'm going to use is called Protocol of the Conquering Tyrant. I'm going to use Directive One, which is add three to the uh, add three inches to the range of this unit's aura abilities to a maximum of twelve, and increase the range of the following abilities of that unit by uh, three inches to a maximum of twelve. Lord, uh, Lord's will, my will be done, and rise of reanimation. Okay. So that's for my cryptic. And so, so what ability does he have that you're? Uh, augmenting. So it's going to augment two, it's going to augment the rights of reanimation, and it's going to augment the canaptic control node. Okay. Which is an aura as well. Uh, while this, while a friendly canoptic unit within six inches of this model, each time a model in this, in that unit makes an attack, add one to that attack's hit rolls. Gotcha. Okay, so all of your scarabs and the tomb spider are going to have like a one to, and this lasts until your next command phase? Yes. All right. Uh, you also get one uh, one command point because it's a command phase, so you get plus one command points. Which track is full? 
And we'll, <laughs> we'll see you after movement. Um, we're we're, we're, we're going to start this off. Crusade battle number two in the Warp Scar, uh, Warp Scar Pass, Pass campaign. campaign. Yeah, all right. Let's have some fun. Necron movement is done. Uh, the entire Necron army kind of just moved up. No advances, though. Uh, just kind of walking up the field. We did take one of the objectives, the middle objective, and this obscuring terrain. This is being run as ruins. I know it looks like an industrial building, but we're running it as ruins. So it's obscuring. Inside of it, of course, you can see through and shoot as long as you're touching it. There's no one currently touching it, so there's no sight lines being drawn. Uh, but we did take one objective, and we're going to move into Necron shooting phase, because there's no psychic to be known right now. There are no shards on the field. Which... There might not be a whole lot. We, uh, I believe we have one set of shooter. Yeah. I think we have the spider here. Not the taking some shots at the Terminators. We got a sight line there. Yeah. So it's within 18 inches. That's the range of his weapon. Yeah. So what do you got for me? Assault six. So six shots. Yeah, okay. Uh, What's your BS? Uh, four. Oh, um, since I'm within the range of the cryptic, so it's going to be a three. Three up. Three yeah. Okay, plus one to hit, right? Yeah. Okay. Six dice, plus one to hit. Uh, any re-rolls? No re-rolls. Okay, no re-rolls. So it looks like you got three, three, three hits. hits. Okay, what's your strength? Uh, strength is five. Strength is five. Toughness is four. You'll need threes to wound. Threes to wound. So that's going to be two, two wounds. wounds. What's your AP? Uh, no AP. What's your damage? One damage. Terminator save. Two? Yeah, two ups. No, no AP. They're good. They save. All right. Uh, shooting is done. No charges to name. Uh, that's the end of Necron turn one. We're going to go into Thousand Suns turn one. All right. Thousand Suns command face. What do we got? Command point goes up. I don't know why he's got to be all dramatic. But... <laughs> and uh, that's it for the command phase right now. OK. Um, um, I need to think about my movement, do my movement, take a picture. All right, cool. All right, uh, the movement is done, and uh, now we're going to go into the bread and butter for the Thousand Suns, the Psychic Phase. What do you got for us? Okay, so the first thing that I'm doing is Glamour on them. Glamour is each. This is going to give their casting it on themselves. Yes. Minus one to hit. It goes off on a warp charge of... It's a six. Seven. Seven. It perils. I'm going to use a command point to ignore the perils, but keep the result. Got it. Using the Thousand Suns stratagem. Yep. So there, minus one to hit. Yeah. <laughs> Did you roll? Six? Two sixes. Six box cards. Okay. Uh, they are going to cast Weaver. Which is plus one to their invuln save. Correct. On themselves? On themselves. Okay. That is a five. What is the warp charge value? Mm, six. I'm Doesn't gonna, go off. I'm going to command reroll. All right, so two command points spent. You should be down to two at this point, yes. right? Nope. No, you reroll all of it now. It's not one die. It's the entire roll. Oh, yeah. I got that reversed in my head. Yep. It ah, five, five again. Doesn't go off. So no, yeah. weave, no weaver of fates on him. Yeah. Zinch just letting you know how they want it to be, that's all. All right, and that leaves Nebet himself, I believe, correct? Yeah, I'm looking. Need to think? Yeah. All right, due to line of sight issues, Nebet doesn't have a power to throw. Uh, again, that's a, considered a ruin that is obscuring, so he cannot see through it right now as he's not touching it. And the entire Necron Force is currently <laughs> obfuscating through it. All right, uh, we're going to head over to shooting phase. All right, so we have three Terminators here that have a sight line to some peak and scare of bases there. So these three back here are going to shoot. It looks like two Storm Bolters and a Reaper cannon. Oh, I didn't. I thought the Reaper was on the other side. Reaper's over here on the right. So which one do you want to, what do you want to shoot first? The um, combi bolters. Right, so those rapid fire two. Yep. And your terminators, so you automatically get your rapid fire due to hellish palisades. Yep. Uh, so that'll be four shots threes. each. Eight shots hitting on threes. 
Let me count and make sure. Yep. That's a full complement. And then what's the toughness of scarabs? Threes. All right, and strength is four, so three's the wound. Uh, that is going to be four wounds, which I think is a dead base. Right? Yeah, because it's minus two to um, save. So they don't get one. No, they don't get a save. Um, so here's where you can get fancy. Hold on. Here's where you can get fancy. If you check your sight line and see if there's one you can remove to take his reaper out of shots. I don't know if you can, but you can check. I think this one's sticking out a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, he can still see this one. Is that the end of the shooting phase? Yes, he can. I see it. No, he's got one more. He's got one more series of shots. Left. This is heavy four. There, they can Doesn't move and matter, shoot without. Yeah. Yep. Hitting on threes, so two hits. Strength is probably going to be threes unless what's his strength? The strength is five. So threes to hit. Threes to wound. Uh, one more wound. At a minus three. So just one wound. The scarabs have four wounds each. Four wounds each. Yep. Yeah. So one's on one wound. Okay. Uh, reanimation protocols. Yeah, I believe that's the end of the phase, correct? No, no, it's the end of each. Each shooting attack. Each yeah, you're right, right, right. That's the end of my shooting. Yes. Phase, yes. All right. So you got dealt four wounds, yes. right? So you roll all four dice. Mm -hmm. You roll the number of wounds you took. Is so reanimation on yeah, scarabs? Yeah, scarabs. Re everything yeah, reanimates now, pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty bad. He does not succeed on enough oh. to bring back the base. Oh yeah, that's right. I have, you have I to get as now. many, you now have to roll as many wounds as needed yep. to bring back the base. So the scarab does not reanimate, but uh, we're going to see what happens. I believe this actual spider here can just pop one out, pop one out on its turn, so he'll, he'll probably get that one back. Yep, yep. All right, uh, so that is the end of Thousand Suns' first turn. Very quick first turn uh, for this. No points scored. Oh, uh, make sure you keep track. You have a tally, right? Uh, that was two. No, 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 well, only one. One, one. They failed. Oh, yeah, one. Yeah. You're right. Yep. So your rubrics have one. Yep. Uh, I believe since you're able to ignore the perils, it'll count, right? Yep. Yeah, okay, Successfully cool. casts all it says. Right. Right, but I know, but it says if you peril, we set it to zero. Right, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I imagine if you ignore the peril, that then would, that that would we be don't... That would thought? Yeah, I would think so, too. Yep. Go, okay. Necron, command phase, start at turn two. You're going to do your command phase, and then we score at the end of it. Yep. Um... I think that might be important for some armies in the future, because I think there might be some armies that'll have command powers that'll allow someone to move, because there's a lot of abilities that are coming out in the game that allow you to move at weird times. Like, there's, a, there's an ability, I can't remember which army it's for, but there's an ability where you can literally make a move. Oh, oh, Custodes. S uh, swooping dive, they can move and attack in the charge phase as if it was the fight phase. Yes then the fight phase happens, yeah. right? Weird, weird strats. And stuff. So like weird strats and stuff that allow movement to happen in different phases. So I imagine, do you know what I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna predict? Because this, this sounds like an Astra Militarum thing. A command, commands being issued in the command phase yep. that would allow troopers and Astra Militarum groups to move or do stuff in the command phase yeah, makes sense. outside of phases. I don't have to worry about it right now. No, I, don't. <laughs> no, I, don't think, I don't think that's gonna be a worry of your boys over here. No. But sorry, go on. So you get plus one command point. Okay, so I'm up to five command points now. Yep, and then living metal pops off. Uh, living, right. So this guy gets his wound back. Wound back. Yep. And I'm going to use the spider ability called Scarab Hive, and I just replaced that one. I just Does lost. that happen in the command phase? Yep. Wow. So um, what just happened? <laughs> what just happened? Look at me. This is <laughs> what just happened. We're really good. I did nothing. 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 I mean, I mean that that. He didn't do anything too, so you both you both did nothing. Too. I wasted ammo. Oh, well, that's true. I mean, but like seriously, we don't count ammo, right? Like we just raid imperial stations for more. Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I think I'd just warp forge it. But that's true. Yeah, you probably do that. So oh. just just for you to know, mm -hmm. it says uh, Scarab Hive in your command phase, one destroyed model from each friendly Canoptic Scarab Swarm swarm within six inches of this unit is reanimated. One from each. Yeah, one from each. So it's wait, disgusting. he can surround himself with like three separate scarab units and res them all? And bring us three back. It's that disgusting. is so wrong! That's disgusting. That's why that thing needs to go away as soon as Holy possible. Holy shit, that is so wrong! Yeah. Alright, what about your protocols? What do you got protocol-wise? Uh, oh, protocol. This time is going to be... Now, quick question on protocols. Do you draw them randomly every turn, or how does it work? Uh, I could have used the dice to set them up, or I could have created the, the protocols themselves. So you set them in an order, and then that's how the game progresses? I set them in an order. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. 
So I'm going to use uh, Protocol of the Hungering Void. Uh, directive 1, each time this model in this unit makes a melee attack on an unmodified wound roll of 6, the improved, uh, uh, improve the armor penetration characteristics of that attack by 1. Okay, so who are you going to play that on? Uh, the Scarabs. Mm -hmm. I thought so, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I see what's happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can see what's happening here. <laughs> You're face to face with Scarabs and it's strange. Uh, so... <laughs> So, ow! Hey, hey, listen! Uh, alright, bye. End of Necron movement. We again moved up conservatively, save four, with these uh, scarabs. I think those scarabs are eyeing up, crawling inside some scarab occult terminators. Scarabs <laughs> attacking scarab occult terminators. So you know what's gonna happen here? What's, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna pick up one of those scarabs, I'm gonna add it to my army. Our armor is decoration. All right, listen, we're not <laughs> I mean, like, you can do that, but then it's just gonna crawl its way inside of you and a whole bunch of dust is gonna fall out. Like, well, I mean, technically, there's new uh, cryptic ability that I get to control one of your guys called Mind Scarabs. Oh, do they, have, they, they have that now? They have Mind Scarabs, that's so right, The yeah. Mind Scarabs were in the lore, and those things were beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They have it now. They have mind scare. I think that uh, is so, a psychomancer ability. Yeah. Nice. So, okay, so uh, scarabs moved up. They have the, t the yeah. tomb spider supporting them. They still have the crypt tech back here as well. Uh, these are immortals, correct? Yes, they are okay. immortals. <laughs> these immortals back here did not touch the terrain, so they don't see through it, and they're still obscured. So at this point, they're still completely blocked from vision from any Thousand Suns on their turn. At all. Unless the Thousand Suns start getting aggressive and touching that and exposing themselves. So it looks like there's kind of a dance happening around this middle point. And I think both parties might be waiting to see what happens turn four. <laughs> <laughs> they're both like, we'll take ten victory points and then see what happens, <laughs> I think. Ten's uh, better than nothing. Ten. <laughs> so we're going to skip over, of course, Necron Psychic Phase. They don't have any, and we're going to go right into shooting. We'll be right back. Shooting, what you got for us? Uh, so shoot with two units. We're going to shoot with the spider first. That's Assault 6, right? Assault 6, yep. yep. At the uh, Occult Terminators. Terminators, yep. yep. All right. And then hitting, hitting on threes because you're within the Cryptex range. Yep. Wait, uh, is that protocol still active, or is that a natural Cryptex ability? Uh, which one? The plus one to hit. Oh, plus one, that's a cryptic ability. Cryptic ability? Since okay. I am a Technomancer, all my abilities buff cryptic. Cup t cup or, uh, canoptics? Canoptics, right. yeah. Right, okay. So it looks like you got three hits, since I don't think you have any rerolls of ones. No, I don't. Okay, so three hits, and then your strength was five, right? Uh, strength is five, yes. And this isn't a Tesla or anything, is it? No, it's, it's a particle beamer. Okay, so just no points. AP, three to wound. Yep. Two wounds, no uh, AP, so... Sorry, am I half range? Uh, not half range. let me let's check. Let's check real fast. What's what's range? Your his range is twenty one inches right 21 now. Twenty one inches, yeah. So half would be within ten. He's in. What's half so, range? So uh, minus one AP. Okay, so it balances out because it's one damage. Two. All is dust. Okay. Uh, saves. Saves. Terminator save on two plus. All right, and your other shot? Uh, Staff of Lights from the Technomancer. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we're just gonna do assault three. Okay. What's his ballistic skill? Uh, ballistic skill is three up. So, so three dice, threes are better. He hits with two. What's your strength? Strength is five. So mm -hmm. toughness of four, you need threes. It's going to be one wound. one wound. That's a one. And then what's your AP? AP minus two. So it's going to be threes, threes are better. We do wound a terminator. So one wound. One wound. The first bit of dust has spilled. All right, shooting is done. We'll see you in the charge pit. All right, we. What do you go ahead and declare your charges? What do we got? Declaring my charge uh, is going to be the scarabs and the spider. Oh, sending both the scarabs and the spider yep. into the uh, uh, cult terminators. All right, so let's see how much we need on the uh, the scarabs are going to be. Oh, that's a that's a three inch charge. Yep. That is. Easy. It's so let's two do, dice, right? Yeah, well, you're going to have to do this. Oh, this this flies, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you're going to want to do the scarabs first to give it a little bit of maneuvering and placement room. So let's see how far your scarabs get. They get a charge of eight inches. All right, so we're going to let him measure that out and move his scarabs, and we'll be right back. Okay. Which is All right, so the scarabs are in, and then we're going to go ahead and see what the spider can get. I think the spider needs about seven or eight inches looking at it. 
You don't measure to the base since it's a fly unit. You measure from the, the model. Yeah, about yeah. seven inches. About seven inch. Seven inch charge. He, oh my god, he gets a 10. Oh, and that spider's going in. All right, we'll finish that up. We are now in the assault phase. Who are you going to start with? Uh, I'm going to start with the scares first, but I'm going to use a command point to do self-destruction. Okay, what? can you read to me what that does? Use, <laughs> use this stratagem in the fight phase when your canoptic scares swarm from your unit army is selected to fight. Select one model in that unit. After that unit has finished piling in, you can select one enemy unit within engagement range of that model and roll 1d6. On a 2 to 5, the enemy suffers d3 mortal wounds. On a 6, the enemy suffers 3 mortal wounds. Uh, the Canopus Scarab Swarm is destroyed. Okay. All right. So then you want to pile in and then select. So let's do that. Okay. All right. So the uh, Necron player spent the command point, which was how many command points for it? One command point. So go, go down to... F wait. Did you spend it already? You did. Well, how many command points do you have? Now I have four after the, just the spend. Gotcha. Points. Okay, cool. All right. So he's spending it on this one. So on a two to five, his unit suffers D3 mm -hmm. mortal wounds. The, uh, yeah, his unit suffers. On a six, he three suffers mortal wounds. Yeah. Straight up. That is a four, so D3 mortal wounds. That's a five, that's three wounds, that's that two terminators. Huh? Oh, it's mortal wounds. Never mortal mind. wounds mortal roll, wounds. my dude. Yeah, you, were, you thought you was being all... Uh, no, 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 I, I didn't. I, I, that was a flub. Yeah. It happens. All right, so there we go. Two terminators down before the scarabs even swing. That is, that's hurts. Yeah. Every model that I lose is devastating. Devastating, yeah. Devastating. The, I'm a lot more scared of these scarab defenders now, though. Like, this is a little, like, when I first saw it, I was like, uh. Eh. We're going to see what happens. All right, now, important thing, though, you've already piled in. Yes. So these guys over here just got removed. They can't fight this turn. Those three. Those okay. three. Because they're not within an inch of an enemy model anymore. Okay. These can all fight. So you have two, four, six scarabs still able to swing. Six scarabs. Oh boy. All right, so yeah, that's six scarabs. All right, we have 24 attacks going into the scarab occult terminators from the canoptic scarab swarms. That's a freaking. <laughs> that's a tongue twister right there. All right, we're going to get 24 dice. I believe, my, I believe my man Taylor is looking for some sort of command thing he could use. But, what? Put them in your cup. All right, 20, 24 dice. Hitting. You got a Yahtzee cup? Yahtzee! <laughs> 24 dice, hitting on fours. Um, wounding on... We'll on worry about wounds afterwards. If well, you get more than four sixes, you have to call Yahtzee. <laughs> there you go. Alright, look in. Let's remove anything that's not a four. This actually looks like a freaking baller ass roll. Grab all the sixes, because those are instant wounds. Oh, that's right. Scarab's instant wounds on six. Yep. One, two, three auto wounds. And do those do the AP minus one or whatever? Was that on the... No, that's fours, on shooting. Right? Fours, right? Tendon on fours? Hold on. Oh, yes. When it makes an attack on an unmodified wound roll of a six. Okay. They're so hitting that's on fours, out. right? Yeah, yeah, that's out. So we have three auto wounds and all of those are hits. So you've only missed, out of 24, you only missed five. Well, that's some really good math hammer for you, dude. Mm -hmm. 19 hits, three of them automatically wound. Yep. So now roll those other ones. What's your strength? Matt, uh, Matt's not even involved, and he's like... <sighs> <laughs> Strength of scarabs is like three, three right? Yeah. So you're going to need fives to wound, and sixes are an additional AP minus one. I don't know if that matters, because I don't know if your attacks normally have any AP. No, minus one, I'm going to be up to anyway. So. All right, so we're looking for fives and sixes, so we'll take out anything that's not a five or a six. Holy shit, dude. Language. I'm sorry, that was that was a good roll. Those are all of your wounds plus these three. Two. And then what's no AP normally? Four. No AP normally, so uh, AP six, minus one. So then that eight, really doesn't do much ten, because 11. they get plus one to save oh. against any one damage item. Because you only Two, do one damage, right? Four, yeah. Six, eight, ten, eleven. Anything but one. Uh, one and a half Terminators go down, looks like, right? Oh no, two Terminators go down. Crap. Oh boy. And then there was one. And then there was one. <laughs> that's uh, That hurts. That's rough. That's pretty big. That is pretty big, because now the spider is going to consolidate in and swing. Sorry. 
He'll have to come like whoa, right whoa, there. wobbly. Yeah. He's on top of the barrels. Cause That's he's rough. Yeah. All right. So now, what do you got for the scarab? What's our uh, the spider? Uh, spider's got art of automation claws. Uh, five attacks. Hitting on. Um, uh, hitting on fours. So five attacks at four better. Yeah. You're not within range of the. Cryptech for the plus. Yeah. We got four hits. What's your strength? Uh, strength is eight. Toughness of four, wounding on twos. Yep. Wounding on twos. Uh, three wounds. What's your AP and damage? AP minus three damage is two. Wow. Oh. Invulnerable save of five plus. He's gone. Unit is wiped. There's two failures that there. That sucks. It's devastating. Absolutely devastating. That was gnarly. Holy cow. Okay, well, I originally thought that spider wasn't really worth much in combat, but that was a little scary. Actually. They got a huge buff, this. That's a little scary. Edition. All right. You get consolidation movements, we're going to let you wrap that up and we'll come back. Just little drips that add up to going nuts. <laughs> so, <laughs> after the absolutely devastating attack of the Scarabs on Terminators, I can't believe that they just ripped them apart that like that. Uh, we did indeed consolidate into Nebet, which means that Nebet's going to get his chance to wreak a little bit of vengeance on these Scarabs. So he's got four attacks, hitting on twos. The four stave gives me a plus two to my strength, wounding on twos because it's six versus three. You got it. Uh, minus yeah. one AP D3 wounds each. Cool. So that's going to be two hits. Ouch. Uh, does he reroll ones because of himself? Or? Um, currently, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Until they change that. I got you. All right, so that's going to be four hits, right? Four hits. And then wounding on twos. Uh, that looks like four, four wounds. All right, so their save is only a six plus, right? So this, yep. these are going to go straight through. D3 wounds each. One at a time, then. Two wounds, one still alive, one dies, one wound, and then one wound. So one dies, one's on two wounds left. Because that was a total of, because they have four wounds each, right? Yes. So six wounds dealt. So one base is gone and one takes two wounds. And then you're going to roll six wounds to reanimation protocol. But the unit isn't destroyed, so I would figure it was only the four. I thought you rolled for I, every wound you suffered. I thought it was for every... Check your reanimation. We'll be right back. All right, so reanimation protocols for the scarabs. Uh, we looked it up. He only rolls a number of dice equal to the wounds characteristic of, of destroyed the destroyed models. models. So he does have to get like four fives or sixes to actually bring it back, right? Yeah, I think uh, since I don't... The fives or sixes. Fives or sixes. Yeah. yeah. He does. He gets two, but it's uh, not enough to yeah. bring it back because I believe it has to equal the full wound characteristic. Yep. Uh, so that is the end of that. One Scarab down, another one on two wounds. Uh, Nebit's attacks are done. Um, Necron's 10 victory points. Occult Scarab Terminator's off the board. We're going to go into the Thousand Suns turn two. All right, Thousand Suns turn two. We just suffered a kind of devastating blow. Uh, Scarab Occult Terminators are out of the fight. That is a Crusade banner force, so we will be rolling for battle scars on them at the end of this battle. Uh, yeah, so... Um, we're going to go ahead and start with the command phase. Plus one command point. Uh, any actions in the command phase that need to be enacted? Negative. Negative. All right. So then we're going to go ahead and go right into the movement phase, and we'll be back after that's done. He's going to raise his staff that is containing what is called the dark matter crystal. Sure. And at the end of my movement phase, I am going to embed it deep into the ground and teleport my butt out of yeah, combat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the end of the movement phase, right? That uh, happens at the end of the end of the movement yeah, phase. Yeah, okay, yes. all right, yeah. <laughs> he, he running like a bitch. Where are you going to, my dude? Oh, is he just going straight back? <laughs> 
<laughs> Nepet's like, I'm outie, bitches. All right. I have reasons. No, no, I get you. I have reasons. I'm with you. I'm right here with Isn't you. Isn't that technically uh, falling back? That, no, it is it's not. not it's it is falling back. No, because oh, okay. it's the same thing as if like <laughs> anybody were to use a strat and then they, like lift yourself off the board and put you down. And it specifically says yeah. this does not count as, as falling, falling back. It does, yeah, okay. it, yeah. It's not, it is not <laughs> falling back. It is a relic that allows him to just teleport out of places. That's part of its entire it's, purpose. It's a once per battle, though. Yeah, it's a GTFO card. So you made him use his GTFO card, right? So that's done. Third turn. And we're going to go into Psychic. Yes, yes. Psychic is going to be very important right now. <laughs> what you got for us, Dudeski? Um, we're going to start with uh, Atep and yep. his rubrics. The Aspiring Sorcerer. Uh, Atep is going to cast... Um, Glamour of Zinch yep, goes off on is a seven. Minus one to hit them. Minus one to hit. That's important right That's now. That's very important right now. It is going off on an eight. Right, I'm going to try and deny it. Oh, what do you got that can deny it? Uh, he's got the Gloom Prism. Woo! He needes a ten, because need... that's a nine. That's a nine, so you need a ten. But, I mean, it's worth a try, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, all, we all saw the six, right? Like we all saw yeah, it. I swear I saw it. Second, I was like, oh my god. Okay, so they are a minus one to hit now. Yeah. Um, now, this is where the dirty fun comes in. Okay, so minus one to hit the Rubik's. Now what is Nebet doing? Nebet is going to cast uh, Infernal Games. So just for the record, they now have two tallies. Yes. For, their, for, your, for your agenda. Uh, Nebet is going to cast Infernal Gaze. Okay. It goes off on a, a warp charge of a five. <laughs> warp charge of a five, Infernal Gaze. It is targeting who? Uh, if manifested, select a visible enemy unit within 18 inches oh. of the Psyker. You get to see if you manifest it first. three dice. Okay. All right. So, it's, yeah. It's roll gonna, to manifest, right? Roll to manifest. Off on a five. It goes off on a seven. All right. So, who are you selecting with an 18? I'm going to go with... The, the scarabs. scarabs. The scarabs? All right, so we're getting the scarabs with Infernal Gaze. So you, what do you do? You roll 3d6. Uh, I uh, roll three dice. Yep. The target suffers one mortal wound for each of a roll of a four plus. Oh, okay, cool. All right. They have a sworn roll, right? Hmm? They have a rule indicating that they need to be kept in a sworn. No, uh, no. That, that's, we'll cover that. That's we'll talk about that later. Fours. So one mortal wound. One mortal wound. Okay. So then this guy's got one wound left, right? He's taken three, so yep. we'll mark that up. All right, there you go. And right. now Nebet's got one tally. Now Nebet is going to cast Smite. Ah, on the same unit? I take it? Well, you have to, the closest. The closest yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Technically, the Rubik's are the closest, but it's enemy unit, I guess. It is enemy. This is going off on a five. Stop rooting against me. Uh, you're chaos. I'm always going to root against you. Goes off on a seven, so it's going to be D3 mortal wounds because you get to do the, and it's one more mortal wound that will finish off that model. I was really hoping to do a lot yeah, more I, with that. I imagine you were. <laughs> I was. I imagine you were trying to do a lot more. It has to be the model you assigned the wounds oh, to. Oh, okay. So if you were actually thinking of this one, so that's got to be the one. Okay. All right. Um, is it now? Check your reanimation. That's only shooting and fighting phases, right? Well, it's technically after every, every phase. phase. So if. Well, no, 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 no. We have to read it because if it says psychic. Like, I thought it said whenever it completes a shooting or fighting action, which makes it important. <laughs> All right, so we check reanimation protocols. Anytime an enemy shoots or fights, we use reanimation protocols. So psychic isn't shooting or fighting. No. It's a psychic phase. So we are not going to reanimation protocol those attacks. So that is, we're going to keep going. That's the end of the psychic phase. That is the end of my psychic uh, phase, yes. We now have two tallies to Nebet and two, two tallies, tallies to... Two the rubrics. Oh, what's your, what's your sergeant's name? A Tep's rubrics. A Tep's rubrics? Yep. Okay, all right. So two, two tallies to a Tep's rubrics and a, two tallies to Nebet back there. Oh, uh, a, a Tess. A Tess. A Tess. Not a Tep. A Tess. A, a Tess. Okay. And then Nebet back there. All right, cool. So we're going to go into Thousand Suns shooting. We'll be right back. Okay. So we got one set of shooting. We pretty much got the Rubik's. I'm, are they going to fire into the spider or the scarabs? Uh, the spider can't produce more scarabs if there is no scarab unit. That's true. That's so true. I am going to try to eliminate these scarabs as quickly as possible. Okay. So what do we got? Um, it's a full... Oh, ah, crap. Mm. What happened? Psychic phase is not done. This would have happened at the top of the psychic phase. It's up to you whether you allow me to do it. I've got this. The flame of Zinchra? The icon. If, uh, if I roll, roll a d6, suffer a mortal wound or something? On a six, they Is suffer. Is that psychic or in the fight phase? It's at the beginning of the psychic phase. Roll it, it's on a six, right? Yeah. Okay. No. That's a five. All right, okay. so we're good. 
I, I just, I always forget, and my other unit isn't going to have one. One wound at this point can make a difference. Yes. So, all right. So uh, we're going to get the dice together, and we'll be right back. Yeah. Heavily on World War II. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we're going to start with the Warp Flamer. Uh, I believe there are eight, eight combi bolters, or infernal bolters, in there. One Reaper auto cannon and a Flamer. Or is so there seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, infernal bolters. Infer one infernal Bolt pistol. pistol. Uh, flamer. A, a warp flamer and a soul reaper can. Soul reaper can. Alright, so we're gonna start with the warp flamer. What's right. it do? D6 auto hits? It's assault D D6 auto hits. So, so four. four. Strength? I've never used it. <laughs> uh, strength four, minus two AP. Okay, damage one, right? Yep. Okay. So each one of these is a wound. Threes. Threes. So three wounds. Minus two AP, that's. Yeah, that, it's straight through. Wounds. So yeah. three wounds so far. What are you shooting next? Uh, might as well go with the Soul Reaper. Okay. Um, heavy four. Uh, you move that, that did update. It's not strength five anymore. It's strength seven. Strength seven, right. <laughs> <laughs> so the wound on twos. Okay, four hits, wounding on twos. Damage one right on these. Um, yes. Minus three AP, so. So three more wounds. So uh, one is now dead. Uh, and then two more wounds on another. Okay, and now you have your seven rapid firing. That's 14 shots. Uh, 15 because of the pistol. 15 shots total because the pistol is technically the two, same exact four, two. Four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. We're hitting on threes, wounding on threes. Each wound is goes straight through because yep. six. Rerolling ones. Rerolling ones. So the twos are straight misses. Pull those out. Another two right there. All right. Those are all hits. Reroll those three ones. Uh, one Convert more hit one. converted. All right. Now three's the wound. So we're gonna. Ooh. Ouch. Four more. Okay. So one another one dies and two wounds on another. Do you want me to just peel back this way? Yeah. Okay. There you go. And is the shooting done there? I think it is, right? That really hurts. All right. So two bases went down. So you'll have eight dice for reanimation protocols. Yep. All right, got them squared away. Man, that hurts. Yeah, man. These things can soak it, dude. So four ups. I'm five ups. Five ups. Crap. Five ups. One, two. Nope, not enough. So none of those Ooh. bases come back. None of those bases come back. But that is the end, I believe, unless there's any... We're gonna we're gonna let him have a think and talk in the charge phase here. All right, we had a think. Uh, we are not gonna do any charging. So the rubrics are gonna stand their ground. We're gonna go into Necron turn three. All right, uh, and we'll be back. All right. So beginning of Necron turn one, we get our additional command point because of the command phase. We activated our next protocol. We went ahead and got the protocol of the Undying Legions. We chose Directive One, which allowed the two wounds on this one Scarab unit to heal up with Loving Metal. Another Scarab popped out of our good old Spidey friend right here. Uh, and that is the end of the command phase. Uh, so we're going to go into movement, and we're going to see what the Necrons are going to do. Uh, I feel like they're closing in on this Thousand Suns attack force, and uh, we're going to see, see how it goes. All right, uh, end of Necron movement. They have come up, taken the middle point. They've kind of moved off the back point, um, so I mean they're in a good position to where if on the fourth turn one of those goes away, they can move to whichever one they want. Um, Cryptek, <laughs> Cryptek advanced up uh, to kind of put them in a little bit of buff range. Spider and the Scarabs <coughs> now got the rubrics in their eyes. Um, Sorcerer Ates is probably um, looking a little sweaty right now. I mean all of his boys don't care; they're just dust in armor, but. Uh, Nabet's probably screaming about how everybody's failing, but we're going to see what happens as we go into Necron shooting phase. Of course, there's no psychic to speak of. Uh, Taylor looks like he has he's, some cards He's not over blaming here. this on his boys at all. Oh, is he not? No. no. He's blaming this solely on the Necron. Oh, it's the Necron's fault. Uh, they're cheating. Oh, they're cheating. Yes. Did the Chaos, the Chaos, the Chaos guy is talking about cheating? He's got this delusion in his head that he's a good guy. As long as he's, as long as we understand it's a delusion, we can we can rock well, with I mean, it. Anyone that calls themselves a good guy in 40k is delusional. No, they're not. We all know the Imperium are Everyone good guys. Everyone is 
Uh, exterminatus? Okay. Exterminatus is only done to evil people. Okay. That's why it's good. Okay. It's objective. It's purifying. The word is purifying fire. Purif it's good. Purity is good. All right, anyway, what are we doing here? <laughs> All right. What do we got? So starting off, we're going to shoot with the, uh, the immortals. Immortals. All right. Um, and they have test the carbine, so... They're targeting the rubrics, I take it? Targeting the rubrics, yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, Tesla carbines. Talk, tell me. And we have. I see some stratagems out here. Yeah, we're gonna use three stratagems right off the bat. <laughs> three, three, three stratagems. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna pause. I'll be right back. Yeah, I need to. All right, we're shooting immortals. Twenty Tesla carbines. Uh, so because they're assault twos, right? Yeah. So two shots each. There's ten of them. Twenty shots hitting on threes. Sixes give two additional hits. Go. All right. So let's take out the twos first. We don't have any re rolls, correct? Nope. Okay. Twos are out. All right, and then, so, oh, Jesus, this is bad. All right, hold on. Six, 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 mm. six. Yahtzee. So he literally has a Yahtzee. Yeah. Yahtzee. And then he's got a Yahtzee plus one. So each one of those is two additional hits. Two, 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 that's three. Two. You know, if this wasn't a campaign, campaign battle, I'd just call it right two. now. Two. <laughs> and two. All right. Roll all of those. Your strength is five. You're wounding on threes. So all of these get rolled. No, no, yeah, yeah. All of those and, yeah, everything that's in there. Okay. Sixes deal a mortal wound in addition due to annihilation, talent for annihilation. But it does say a maximum of three mortal wounds can be inflicted per phase. So at least we have a maximum. All right. So wounding on threes. All right. Ooh, that does bring it down a bit. Why is um, it strength five? Strength five. But no AP. Oh, uh, well, they're in a, are they in half range? Yes. Then it does get one AP. So AP minus one, so you would still be on your three up save. Yeah. That's actually huge. Um, okay, so we do get one, two. Oh, we only got two mortal wounds. So two rubrics go straight out, mortal wound. And then two, four, six, eight. That sucks. Ten. Because how they're set 12, up. Coherency. Fourteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. But ten. If I take 10, away these two front ones, is he still in coherency? What do you got for me? If I take Hold away on. these two. We'll be right back. Alright, seventeen saves, three or better. Ones and twos are dead rubrics. Pull out the ones and twos. It's a good roll though, but he's just making you roll enough oh, dice. Yeah. That was one, yeah. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six more rubrics. Bite it. That's a total of eight. So there should be two left, right? Two, four, six. Yep. Holy cow. Oh, that's withering. Okay, um, we still got some shooting left. We'll be right back. All right, uh, we have Malevolent Arcing. Uh, he's going to roll a d6 for Nebet and just see if he gets a mortal wound off on him. He does, on a six. So, one mortal wound to Nebet. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Six shots from the spider uh, into the two remaining rubrics there. Yep. Assault six, hitting on four. You with, hold on, let's check our measures. All right, hitting on threes. Uh, all but one hit. Wounding on threes, I believe. Does this have anything like half range as minus one AP? Well, I mean, if it's it's a dynasty thing, so he's oh, just a dynasty. Okay, all right. So. So threes to wound then. Yeah. It's gonna be four wounds at minus one AP, one damage. So normal three up save, since you have all his dust for it. Trees are better. And, oh, I'm Jesus, gone. the unit's gone. Man. Holy crap. I'm rolling like crap, though. That's the end. Um, all right, uh, we're going to go into the assault phase and see what happens. All right, we're attempting a charge with the scarabs. It's eight inches going into Nebet. He gets eight inches. Oof. The canoptic scarabs have charged. 
I believe we're using our last command point at this point, right? Because we're Because uh, you, you spent two. No, you only spent two. Yeah. So you so think you have two. I'm down to three now. Okay. Well, after or before you spend this? After I spend this. Okay. All right. Um, so he's going to, on a two to five, he does D3 mortal wounds. On a six, he does three. On a one, he does nothing. Okay. He gets a four. So D3 mortal wounds. Uh, only one. One mortal wound in a bet. It's got three left. Which uh, which canoptic uh, scarab unit are you taking off? Just take one. It's... Take the back off. Yeah. Okay. All right. So next is going to be 20 attacks from your scarabs. We'll get the dice together. We'll be right back. 20 attacks, six is auto wound, hitting on fours. Uh, so auto wound, auto wound, auto wound, auto wound, auto wound. So five auto wounds off the bat. These are all oh, hits. One more. Oh, yeah, one more auto wound. This is a hit, this is a hit. Hit, hit, hit. And these are all misses. All right, so now these are on fives and sixes right here. Uh, this was a miss at the time. These are on fives and sixes. Strength three, toughness four. Four. Yep. So that's, that's going to be two more. So we're looking at a total of two, eight. four, six, eight saves on the bat. Eight, three ups. You can do this. I've seen you roll better. Not recently. Uh, you're only going to eat one wound. See? Look. Oh, smoke, Look at that. Because it matters. Look at that. And he's down to two wounds left, and he's going to get a chance to swing back. And if I recall correctly, he kind of hurt these scarabs last time he swung. Yeah, he did. Four attacks. Two. Hitting on twos, wounding on twos. No save. Every wound is D3 wounds. D3. Be rolling ones because of himself still. All right, four hits. Oh, jeez. Two wounds. Roll them one at a time. One wound and one wound. So one takes two wounds. Just do that one right Yeah, just get it right here. And the bet's sitting there like, man, I don't even know what to <laughs> We will be right back. It's going to go into uh, Thousand Suns turn three, correct? All right, we'll be right back. All right, psychic phase. So this is a have to, not, yep. not a want to. Um, I am going to cast Temporal Manipulation. Um, it goes off on a six. If manifested, select a friendly thousand suns unit within 12 inches. It heals D3 wounds. So he's trying to heal himself. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Three. Command point. I yeah, have to. To reroll, yep. Goes, goes off. off. D3 wounds healed. He heals the big three. Which brings him back up. To, to max, four. yep. Mm -hmm. I needed that. All right, cool. That's three tallies for him now? Yes. All right. Second power he gets to cast. Uh, I am going to cast Infernal Gaze. Okay. This goes off on a five. Doesn't go off. Another trucker. Uh, I'm going to spend a command point, not to re-roll, but to use the stratagem to the Great Sorcerer to have him cast another spell immediately. Okay. So that's your last command point at this point? No, I'm at two. I've been keeping track. Okay. Um, so five. Uh, smite. Goes off. One wound. So that one takes yeah. another wound. So it's taking three. Okay, that's the end of Psychic. Shooting, does he have a pistol? He does have a pistol. All right, you can take a shot and possibly get rid of one. Misses. Uh, Reroll one. because of himself. He hits. Okay. Uh, wounds on three? Yep. Uh, wounds one, so that, that's gone. It is an infernal bolt pistol. Yeah, it's yeah. gone. So you do, however, get to do four rolls for reanimation protocols. Yep. Okay, Here go I go. It does not come back. Okay. okay. Uh, goes into... Attacks. Attack phase. Uh, starts with the scarabs. Aims. <laughs> so <laughs> stupid. He's gonna roll a decent. Not yet. It's only if they fail on battle honors. Yeah, I know. He gets a three, so D3 mortal wounds to Nibet. Th 
three mortal wounds to the pet. I'm glad that I healed myself. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Okay, so then one of these goes away because you blew one up. Yep. And the other three are going to attack. That's 12 attacks now. Hitting on fours. Sixes are auto wounds. At this point, he's getting two experience points no matter what. Well, yeah, he, he, he's already won the tally. Yeah. yeah. Which is kind of what you're looking for, right? Like, all right, six is auto wound, hitting on fours. So we got two auto wounds, and not much else, actually. Only three hits, uh, four hits, sorry. So you're wounding on fives on those four hits. Nothing. Nothing. So two saves. Whiff. Whiff. Uh, one failure, so that's one wound, and then one save. So Nabet's down to one wound left, and we're gonna go into turn four. We'll be right back. I get my attacks. Oh, that's right, you're gonna fool. Twos. Twos. Two wounds. One at a time. Three each. Three and dead. So another one's dead, so you roll four dice. I did two D3s. Yeah, they no. got four wounds each. No vex. Doesn't roll over, man. At the end of the phase, it looks like this. Nabet's down to one wound. Two scarabs are still holding him up, and we're going to go into turn four where we have to do a little bit of Michelin, mission shuffling, and we're going to see what... Michelin, mission shuffling. We'll see what happens. Okay, everybody, we kind of just did a real quick math summary to wrap this one up. Um, going off everything that would happen now, the Necrons would move one unit back to cover this objective, move the Cryptek to cover the main objective here, since those are the only two left. He would probably bring in the Spider and the Scarabs to wrap up Nabet and finish him off on this turn, because all he would need to do is move his Spider up and charge it, and one wound left. he's got one wound left, or he, all he would need to do is use his last command point to blow up a Scarab, um, and that mortal wound goes through. So then he would sit on these two for the fifth turn and get the 30 points, bringing the Necrons Grand total up to, with a fully painted army, 75 victory points for the battle. And the Thousand Sons achieved 10 for objectives and 10 for fully painted, bringing them up to 20 victory points. Uh, Thousand Sons defeated. We have three battle scar rolls that need to be done. One for Nabet, one for the Terminators, and one for the Rubric units. So we're gonna do those real fast. Uh, we'll start with Urshu Teps. Yep. He's fine. Uh, Ates. Ates. Ates is fine. And now Nabet. Nabet is fine. Okay, okay. so no, the, none of them suffer battle scars. They just feel the pain of defeat. Uh, so at the end of that, um, the Thousand Sons are still going to get one requisition point for participating in the battle. Nabet garners two experience for the agenda for a total of three because of one experience for participating in the battle. Uh, Ates and... What's Ursutep. Ursutep. Each get one experience point uh, each, those units, for participating in the battle at all. And I get one requisition point. Correct. Not two because I didn't win. Correct. All right. Uh, and that is the end. Necrons successfully defended their hex.